Hey, this is my FreeSky X10S. I did the uh, work today on swapping these two switches in the rear of the transmitter around. I like the momentary switch on the left side of the transmitter uh, to match my other transmitters. I also moved the switches to the outside of the case to make them easier to get to, especially if you're a thumbs flyer like I am. When you're flying, uh, it was near impossible to get to this switch all the way over here. You'd have to physically move your hand to get to it. And I have pretty decent sized hands and I, I couldn't get to it unless you'd shift your hand up. So now you can keep your hand where you want it to be and you can easily get to these uh, rear switches now. There were some plugs available on Amazon that make these holes, you know, you can fill them in. It really looks nice. It's a nice professional looking plug. It matches the color of the case beautifully. Uh, this is what it looks like in the bag. One of them. It's a good match. They're really cheap. You get about 100 plugs for under $9 on Amazon. I'll put the link uh, in the uh, description of the video. But these are the plugs. They also come in white. But this, this really made it look good. Uh, as far as moving the switches, that was a little bit of a pain. I had to extend the wires and I didn't have this light gauge wire that they use, so I used the one or two gauges up from some thin servo wire that I had lying around. I also, it was a flat ribbon type wire, so I broke the three wires up and twisted, twisted it, since I noticed every other wire here was twisted. So I extended the wires, and I decided to run the wire this way, underneath this piece of plastic here between the board and here. You can see it's probably too dark in there, but that's where the wires are going. Then they come out and then there's some holders here to help hold the wires in place. So, you know, that'll take a, a little while if you decide to move those switches over, but to me it was worthwhile because I'm still going to be flying my Grappner radio and I wanted the switch layout to be about the same. And most of the other radios I have the momentary switch is on the left side, so I'm not sure why FreeSky decided to put it on the right side. Now, when I drilled the holes, what I did was I was worried about when you put the back on. There's a ridge on here, and this ridge goes in the case a bit, so I was worried about the switch possibly hitting that ridge. So I made a balsa block, which is the same dimensions as the switch, and then using that, when the switch was not in the case, I moved it around to, to get some ideas of clearance and where it could go. Once I found the right spot, I drilled a hole dead center in the balsa block, and then I used a T-pin. So once I had the block, against the plastic where I wanted it. I just pushed the T-pin up and it made a little score mark on the plastic so I knew where to drill the hole. And then as far as getting the starting hole going, I heated the pin up, made it nice and hot, and then just pushed, pushed it through the plastic. And then I took a drill bit from the outside and actually uh, drilled the holes. So I would recommend making a balsa block so you know your clearance because it does get tight in there. You can see there's not a lot of room between these switches. I want to make sure everything would, would fit correctly.